Okay, now we're going to move on to a section that talks about solutions to linear equations. So I've taken a couple of examples from Study Island. I'll call this one one, and I'll call this one two. So we have to do a little review because you might have you, you've been introduced to this some time ago, but you may have forgot. So we see here that we have a coefficient of this term, and we have a coefficient of this term. And this term has two elements, 4x plus 10, this has 8x plus 20. And in order to solve this equation for x, we have to eliminate these parentheses and then collect like terms and see what we come up with. So the first thing we want to do is use what you will recall is the distributive property. So distributive, D-I-S-T-R-I-B-U-T-I-V-E. Distributive property. The distributive property simply says if you have a factor in front of a quantity and has two or more terms, you multiply the coefficient or the factor outside of the parentheses by each term inside the parentheses. So if we do that, we get negative 6 times 4x is negative 24x. And negative 6 times positive 10 is negative 60. That will be equal to negative 24, which is negative 3 times 8 is negative 24x. And negative 3 times 20 is negative 60. So the question that will be posed to you is, are there actual solutions to this equation? If so, this is usually your choices. If so, is there only one? None? Or many? In this case, negative 24x, negative 60 equals negative 24x, negative 60. That's going to always be true. No matter what we say x is, if x is 0, negative 60 equals negative 60. So no matter what we put in place of x, this statement will always be true. So here we would say many or an infinite number. They, they often have that, infinite. So you will often be questioned about how many solutions, if any, are there to this equation. So let's try the same process here. 14x plus 15 equals 7x plus 48. So to solve this, I have to get the x's together. So I'll subtract 7x from here. That will cancel out. Subtract 7x from here. So my next step will say 7x left, 7x plus 15 equals 48. So now, 7x plus 15 equals 48 to get 7, to get the x alone, which is what I'm still working to do, I'll have to subtract 15 from here and 15 from here. So I take away 15, that cancels out, take away 15 to keep it balanced, so I have 3, 20, oh, 33. So 
So 7x equals 33. So 7x equals 33. So now I have to divide by 7 to get the x all along. So I have x equals 33 divided by 7. So I could change that to a mixed number. But here, if I had the same question, see I only have one solution to this equation. 7, 33 over 7, or if I check, it's a little wet right here, so I'm going to write here, 33 over 7. So 7 times 4 is 28, and that leaves uh, 5 over 7. So I can say, depending on the answers they show me, the options is 33 over 7 or 4 and 5 sevenths. Either one will be my choice. So I'm going to take another one from this sheet of practice and let's take a look at it. I'm going to erase this and give us another practice. Now we're just being introduced to this now, so you'll have a chance to practice and we will identify what may be giving anybody trouble. So today is just our introduction. So one fourth times eight x plus 16 equals two times the quantity x plus four. So now I have two, two, two quantities and I'm trying to see if I can solve for this x. So one fourth times the quantity eight x plus 16, I have to remove the parentheses by using the distributive property which means I multiply one fourth times eight and one fourth times 16. So one fourth times eight will end up being, I'll do it this way, one fourth times eight over one times x plus one fourth times 16 over one equals 2x plus 8. Because 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 4 is 8. So now if I got 1 fourth times 8 over 1, I know for multiplication that, that that's 8 over 4 times x plus 16 over 4 equals 2x plus 8. So 8 over 4 I know is 2, and 16 over 4 I know is 4. So this is 2x plus 4 equals 2x plus 8. So now here's your question. Are there, what are solutions to this equation? Well, 2x plus 4 is never going to be equal to 2x plus 8 because 8 is bigger than 4. As a matter of fact, if we try to solve for x, subtracting 2x from here and 2x from here, we'd be left with 4 equals 8. And 4 does not equal 8. So here we would say there are no solutions to this equation. There's no value of x that will make this work. So we would say there's no solutions here. Let me try one more if we have space for it. You'll get a chance to practice all of this too. The question is, 
Are there solutions to this? Is it more than one, an infinite number, or none? So 9x plus 13, I'll eliminate these parentheses. 3 times 3x is 9x plus 3 times 4 is 12. So this says 9x plus 13 equals 9x plus 12. Well, 9x plus 13 is never going to equal 9x plus 12. So I say the answer here is none. There are no solutions to this. Because if I subtract 9x from here and 9x from here, my result will be 13 equals 12, and that's not valid. So I would say there are no solutions here. Uh, so that's enough of that. I'll clean this off and we'll come back.